Hello. In this video, I will be demonstrating the Anosix SAP pricing plugin for Salesforce CPQ. The Anosix SAP pricing plugin allows you to leverage your existing SAP pricing logic and inject real-time pricing from SAP into your Salesforce CPQ process without any middleware or complex development. So what you're looking at here is the uh, standard Salesforce CPQ uh, product screen. Um, and the way this works is uh, we have a product in Salesforce CPQ that is linked to an SAP material master record. So that's the uh, basis of everything that you're going to see here. So let me click into uh, this product called Large Machine. Uh, and in the details, uh, you will see that this is now uh, linked to an SAP material master record uh, M11. If I click into view SAP material details, this is now making a real-time call out to SAP and it's bringing back the pertinent material information from SAP to Salesforce. And this is the information that we have chosen to bring back from SAP. So remember, we can display any of the um, uh, aspects of this material uh, in SAP or over here in Salesforce. Uh, but for purposes of this demo, uh, we limited that information to the fields that you see here. So I'm going to go back to product information uh, and then let's uh, look at an opportunity that I have created um, already for the purposes of this demo. It's called Anosix Plugin Demo. Uh, and then I also have a quote that I have already created. Um, and what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to go ahead and add some products to this uh, SAP quote here. I, I'm sorry, the Salesforce quote. So I'm going to go ahead and say edit lines. This is going to bring back a list of products that exist in Salesforce. Um, and then we are going to pick uh, some of those products that uh, I know have a linked SAP material master record. Because as I said before, you know, that's the key uh, for driving the pricing uh, is the link uh, of the customer uh, and the product to the um, SAP material master record and SAP sold to. So uh, I have large machine, medium machine, small machine. For purposes of this demo, uh, we did not involve any complex configurable uh, items in um, uh, Salesforce, although that's the whole point of uh, using Salesforce CPQ. So you could have um, you know, your entire uh, configured and, and go through the configuration and bring in real-time pricing from SAP. Um, but for purposes of this demo, we kept it uh, simple. You're just seeing um, a, a pretty flat a product structure. Uh, one thing I wanted to point out is notice that the list price is zero um, in for each of these uh, uh, products in Salesforce CPQ. Uh, and the reason is because we have not maintained the price book uh, for these products in Salesforce CPQ. We are going to bring back that pricing in real time from SAP. So I'm going to go ahead and select these three um, products. And you will see that uh, once these are added, uh, I now have a list unit price here for um, each of those machines. So let me show you uh, how I'm going to leverage the discount thresholds uh, from SAP. So these are discount thresholds that I have set up uh, in SAP. Uh, and I will show you how we are able to adhere to that same uh, discount logic that we've set up in sales in SAP over here in Salesforce. So I know that the discount threshold is set up as 10%. Uh, so if I say 9%, um, it should not give me any issues and it should go ahead and calculate the discount percentage for 9%. But if I try to exceed 10%, then this should now stop me based on the logic that I have codified in SAP. And you'll see here it says, please enter discount less than or equal to 10%. So, so you'll see how we are leveraging the uh, SAP pricing logic directly from from SAP over here in Salesforce. I don't have to recode uh, any of that over here in Salesforce CPQ. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and make this a zero um, and show you something else. So over in SAP, uh, we've also maintained some pricing scales uh, for these machines. So I'm going to go and change the quantity. Let's make it a quantity of two uh, and you'll see how the list unit price drops. Uh, it's currently at 4,250, 
uh, it now changed to 3950 so that is because of the pricing scale that I have set up in SAP uh, I'm going to flip over to SAP and show you where that is configured um, so here we are in SAP uh, I'm just using the standard pricing condition type PR00 but remember you can use you know all your existing pricing conditions in your pricing procedures that are set up for uh, volume discounts you know rebates and commissions um, standard price you know VPRS um, all of that can be leveraged uh, over in Salesforce using the Anosix uh, pricing plugin so distribution channel 10 uh, I'm sorry the sales org should read 1000 distribution channel 10 and I'm going to put in my material M11 and so here you'll see here is where the price is set up for 4250 for the each um, here are the pricing scales that I've set up so for the quantity of two I have the price uh, 3950 uh, let's make a small change to that and uh, let's make it 3000 800 because I'm feeling generous today um, and uh, we'll go ahead and save that and when I flip back over to SAP I'm just going to go ahead and say calculate and now that should bring back my new discounted value of three thousand eight hundred dollars so so that's the real-time um, real-time nature of what we're doing uh, remember all of this is being done without any middleware there is no complex development in involved um, you know we're pretty much you're installing it and it's ready to go and that's why it's uh, it's it's plug-and-play uh, the other thing to notice is that you know this is all dependent on uh, the validity dates that you've set up in SAP for the pricing conditions so you need not worry about you know your old quotes repricing based on changes that you're ma making in SAP so SAP pricing condition uh, determination is all based on the validity dates that you set so anytime you come in here and reprice uh, it's going to reprice uh, the document or the quote um, or even the order based on the validity dates that you have set up in SAP. So there you have it. That was the uh, NO6 SAP pricing plugin for Salesforce CPQ. Thank you.